you know it's Missy Chrissy here as well as Scratch Master on the Power Morning Show. Yep, 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 yep. We promised you that we have a very, very extra special guest in the building. And we keep our promises. We keep our promises and we turn it up this morning. Yes, sir. Welcome, Red Rat. What's up? Wagwan, Wagwan. I kept my promise as well. <laughs> promise as well. What's going on, man? I tell you, I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> It's I, only can be, I can be as honest, I, I, you know what I mean? I only can be honest. But mm -hmm. I'm glad to be here. Thanks for having me here. It does yeah. know, it vibes of the place as usual. Of course, definitely vibes of the place. How are you managing right now with this whole quarantine where, you know, artists can't travel and do the shows that they used to? Um, it's rough still because we had a, a lot of shows that cancel. Mm -hmm. that we're really looking forward to. But, um... It, it, it put us back in a, a creative mode where I, I finally finished my album that everybody been asking for. So right. that's that's a good part of it. But mm -hmm. we just we just need to stay as safe as we can and, and follow the rules and that's uh, very important. Yeah, exactly. If you want it to, to all go away, we, we need to follow the rules. Mm -hmm. Now tell me something. Um you came up in the late nineties, right? Yeah. Songs like Shelly Ann, Dwayne, and so on have stood the test of time. Uh huh. Are you surprised? Um, not really, no, because we grew up in a I grew up in a time where music had everybody has had them role. So you had the artist being the artist, the engineer being the engineer, and the producer being the producer. Mm -hmm. so there is no conflict of interest in nowhere in 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 that um part of it. So, um. Uh, being around Main Street and Danny Brown is one of the, the main people who started, you know, dance our music. What yeah. I really loved about how, you know, the, those guys, Danny Brown and Steely and Casey and Des, those guys um, was doing production. If one line is messing up the song, they're going to change that one line to make sure that the, the, the whole song is perfect. Right. And, and, and I adapt that to this day. If I'm doing a record and one line will bother me, Mm -hmm. I have to change it, so you know what I mean. That's how um, they they have been producing songs from like oh no no like oh no no them songs they from before me even start be an artist and those songs you know still you know stand up to the test of time. So you know. Mm -hmm. Now Chris Brown actually sampled "Tight Up Skirt" recently. Yeah. And how is that? What has that done for your original song? Like, have you seen a spike in streams or purchases? Um, I mean, the song "Tight Up Skirt" is, is is what twenty something years old now. So, um, because he did it, it also shows a light from his fans that don't know the song. Mm -hmm. You know that that yeah, he got a few um, streaming spikes and stuff. But I mean, you have certain songs in a dance hall that everybody know it. I have like three or four songs that play in every club every night. So. You know, once you, have, once you have certain classic songs, classics never die, and the rattle are big. So, <laughs> <laughs> the rattle log, you've heard that the, word here first. The rattle log, <laughs> just to put a red rat dictionary the that exists. <laughs> yeah, man, the rattle log, big. So, we we'll put you in the work, and we have a lot of um songs uh, that, that you know stand the test of time, and we we'll give Jah the glory because without mm -hmm. Father God, not, not possible. What would you say is the biggest difference with dancehall today versus dancehall when you were coming out, emerging the late nineties? Um, the biggest difference for me, I what I see because I and I am not really um in Jamaica to see exactly what's going on, but we all see it and is is that the unity not there. I remember mm -hmm. back in the days when um you know it, uh, a producer said um him of a rhythm. Like jammies have a rhythm. Every mm -hmm. artist would be down there, vicing on that rhythm and helping each other, um, put in two line or you know use a style there. You know what I mean? We all wanted to see all everybody win. Mm -hmm. The difference is the youth them nowadays is not is all about themselves and me 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 and me are the done and me are the god and me are the king and me. Right. The unity not there and it shows it shows that you know we. We our industry kind of 
allowing others to take charge of mm -hmm. our industry and reaping the benefits of our industry you know? right what about the musical development of dancehall because scratch and i have a little conversation sometimes saying that dancehall almost sounds very similar to r&b like dancehall now is a lot slower <laughs> and the, dancehall is hip-hop right it sounds very that different is is. all right i agree with both of you but here's my um take of it mm -hmm. um my, my dogs are, are being low be, be quiet <laughs> <laughs> so, so here's my take on it now um Back in the, the 80s, when Steely and Cleavy, Steely and Cleavy is the creators of Dancer. Right. When they created the, the Punani rhythm, mm -hmm. um, the, the people that were before Dancer, you know, the rock steady and the, dan um, the reggae people used to call it Bugu Yaga music. Mm -hmm. And Steely and Cleavy stood up and said, no, it's not, it don't, it don't name Bugu Yaga music, it named Dancer music. So that's how the name Dancehall dance was created. Right. This new song that um, the youth them of them should give it a name because it's not Dancehall music. It's a version of Dancehall. Mm. So Bounty said the same thing. Mm. Yeah, so is, is, is them, they, 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 they create a style and they create a song, but they never call it nothing. So when when overseas people, you know, um, that love dancehall music and say, yo, we want to hear some dancehall from Jamaica, and you hear, boop, boop, bat, boop, bat, boop, boop. Mm. that's not dancehall. That's a groove that's hip hop ish, you know, yeah. R and B ish, but they might yeah. DJ dancehall lyrics on it. Right. So mm. make it dancehall, not because they're spitting um, dancehall lyrics, don't mean that it's dancehall music. Do you think it will stand the test of time as how your ratalog has? <laughs> um, I it, it, it only take one song, you know? it only take one song to be an international hit before mm -hmm. dance hall became a inter before you know what I mean before dance hall became that international hit. Right. You know, Shaba had to do trailer load. True. Yeah, and so it, it, mm -hmm. if if them find a song and, and Jamaicans are very creative, you know. So yeah. Of course they mother find a song. The youth, them body have some very talented youth out there, mm. and they're going to continue to keep them the door till it fly wide open. Something I want to find out Shellyan, Dwayne, Melissa, mm -hmm. real people or not? Shellyan, Dwayne, <laughs> Melissa, yeah. Charlene. Charlene, yeah, um, Charlene. I wanted to say, yeah, Charlene. Um, um, who else? Oh, well, well, you have more names. I will if I did call me. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose a lot of girls with the name Shelly Ann were very upset with you. <laughs> <laughs> Up to today, dear. <laughs> How did Shelly Ann come about? Um, it's a girl who I know me to go to school with. Oh, Lord. But the funniest thing, you know, I don't, you, I'm, I'm sure both of you can um, attest to this. Every mm -hmm. every, every Shelly Ann I know say the same way. Every Shelly Ann I know say the same way. <laughs> Every Melissa me no mix up. Problems. Um into a, a man bedroom like that. So me don't really know like that. So you have to ask the ladies then. <laughs> Red Rat causing problems man, on Power 95 this yeah, morning. Lord of mercy. <laughs> well, um, I don't know if you remember, I remember when you came to Grenada back in in the late 90s um, oh, yeah you, you you i don't know if you remember that but steve duncan brought you here i know what, steve what happened what did i do steve, <laughs> he was actually in the comments on facebook and he's saying ask you if you remember island wide 1998 i don't remember what man, last you, night. you apparently came to island view car park yes he did 22 years ago in I grenada think, i think that was steve's first show no, oh, right. is that 22 years ago and I'm only 21? I don't get yeah. it. Oh, you're only 21? You sound like Scratch Master. <laughs> Y'all just an agent for some reason. You don't. <laughs> you don't. I, I remember Red Rat came, Goofy came. Mm. I can't remember the rest of the lineup, but I know those two for sure came. Yeah. You know? Um. Yeah, and it, 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 it was crazy. That's amazing. It was crazy. Who would you say is the king of dance hall? Jeez. You really want to ask me that? I am, I am the king of dancers. We are all the kings of dancers. There's no one king. This is a big kingdom. You understand? 
I got, right. some, I got some places where them don't know certain artists and, and, and just as well, um, some artists got some place where they don't really know me. Well, I think everybody mm -hmm. know who Red Hat is still. We, yes. are all, we are all the kings of dance. There's no one king of dance. Mm -hmm. What would you say is your most memorable moment on stage? Because I know you've traveled so much oh, since. Yeah. What would you say um, is one of your most memorable moments on stage? Um, easily the first time I went to um, Notting Hill Carnival in England. Uh -huh. And we was on the bill with, at that time it was Little Kim and um, Buster Rhymes. Mm -hmm. uh, when food is hot like fire. And uh, when we reached backstage, we saw the lineup and they had us second to last, right after um, the Fuji's. And after the Fuji's? After the Fuji's. And I was like, yo, what kind of lineup this? <laughs> the Fuji's, they're not going to make a flop. And the promoter came over, um, David Radigan. Mm -hmm. Yo, you guys have nothing to worry about. I guarantee you, once you go out on that stage, it's a different vibe. And, uh, Radigan accent. I was like, oh God, hold this guy up, man. We did a watch foodies. I teared up the place. Mm -hmm. I'm hard to, then I'm a truth. I'm like, all right, Father God, anything I said, that I got him. You mm -hmm. see, when Radigan, when foodies done, I Radigan said, next on stage, <laughs> out of Kingston, Jamaica, we go, you know, he has a slot of song by, and he says, oh no. When that man said, oh no, I couldn't hear myself. The scream, I'm, I'm talking like about a million people in, in, in London. Mm -hmm. and, and it was amazing. I can't hear the scream right now. Cold bomb, pull me up. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, That's and, 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 and me never get no forward big mm. That's amazing. Now, you have been working in the Latin market now, which is an interesting transition from dancehall all the way to Latin. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you think about the Latin music market? What opportunities are there? Because there must be opportunities for you to have been working in it for quite a long time now. Um, Latin, the Latin community is very big for dancehall because dancehall created the Latin music. Reggaeton was created by Shabarams, them both. And they, they, them love with, them love with and mm -hmm. cherish we and, and treat us like kings, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, big up all my, my Central American people, Costa Rica, I'm a place. I love Costa Rica, like, wow, that's also one of the places then that, you know, I could go three, four, five times a year and it's the same crowd, like, you know what I mean? And the same mm -hmm. reaction, I will get the same forward and everything. So it's just a big market. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Do you see um with with regards to 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 dancehall, where do you see dancehall moving from now? Because you said, well, I don't know if it's even call it dancehall now, based on the last comment you said, with yeah. regards to you know, it's a new sound, you know, everything evolves because if it is you check it out, in the early nineties, dancehall sounded a certain way, right? Mm -hmm. When you came out with your main street crew, right? Mm -hmm. That's with yourself, Buccaneer, Hawker, and these guys. Right. We, right. we noticed that. What's that? Make us stop you. Uh huh. All right. So, the, the reggae music that Chronix is doing right now. Yeah. Is the same reggae music that Bob Marley did in the 60s, don't it? Very true. And where it named? It named reggae music. Correct. Conscious, or some of us say conscious, conscious reggae, reggae or something. It's, it's reggae music. Yeah. yeah. All mm -hmm. right. What we do is dance our music. Even if, if you said it's in the nineties, it's still dance our music. It, the, the genre is not called nineties dance all. It's called dance all. Right. So dance all. If you if you if you um want to check it and 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 look on the fact. No, we are go we are go with fact. Mm -hmm. Dance all music is the biggest music the number one genre in the world right now. Mm -hmm. um, work, 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 dancehall music by Rihanna. Right. Drake of both four dancehall songs. True. Um, Justin Bieber, dancehall. Right. Um, what, what, what my boy from England, yeah? Um, my boy from England. Yeah? No, man. Um, the, the, the white guy from England. Ed Sharon. Ed Sharon. Uh, All of those records are dance or music. Oh yes, he did have one that was produced by yeah. Major Lazer. Not one, not one, many. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So dancehall music is the number one genre. So if you're asking me about dancehall, then it's dancehall. Right. If you're asking me about the new music, mm. which oh, you, oh, give okay. name, you give it a name and then ask me about that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's when I dance all your axe and boats. Okay, then. It's a new genre, your axe and boats. So if I dance all your axe and boats, then it's a different topic. All right, well, how did you get the name Red Rat? Um, You want a long story? I'm just talking. Whichever one. Um, That name was given to me by General Degree. Mm-hmm. Um, in a nutshell, um, you know, in a, in a most Caribbean countries, them not like call it by a government name. Yeah. Them right. finding a different name for Carly. So, as a, as a youth, I mean, to play um, football from the school and them thing that um, my coach called me Mice. And mm-hmm. then when I started in the music industry, I, I used to call myself Mad Mice. So, oh. when, I, when I got linked up with um, General Degree and the End Street crew and everything, mm-hmm. I used to try DJ by the name Mice. And he must say, You know, my name is change your name because. You have white mice and you have singing mice already. So, Mr. Right. Harris, you give me a name and, and make, make us it for all its own. And in Panda Panda for about 10, 15 minutes, and he said, All right, I find it. You're mm. red and you look like a rat. So, Hold your on. name Red Rat. It's <laughs> 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 like, Thank you, no problem. No, if you fight, no, but I know how Jamaican people stay. If you fight against it, then find a worse name. So, I mean, mm. The nice <laughs> <one>. <laughs> That's interesting. Have you ever been exposed to soca? Like, what do you think about the soca? <laughs> as a genre? Um, all right, you, you or me get exposed to soca now. My father he used to play um, guitar for Byron Lee and the Dragonettes, mm. so I'm a born in a soca. Um, the, the album Softly, my father was the producer of that album as well. Mm-hmm. So, soca in my blood, my been. I've been into soca from my baby. Right. And then um officially got into soca when I did the track Rubber Waste with Marshall Montana. I remember that. That yeah. is true. <clears throat> yeah, that, that is true. That is true. Yeah, man. <laughs> so you, are you saying that you do have a rubber waist? You know, I'm just trying I'm to make sure it. Yo, I go carnival every year. <laughs> Trinidad Carnival is the best, the best carnival ever. And I learned from the Trini. Um, the training massive how to have that rubber waist, and after right, them, right, because it's a different waist. way. Jamaicans, I find Jamaicans dance a little different than how we dance in the southern Caribbean to soca and just you know, music in general. All right, let me let me see your rubber waist, let me see if there's a difference. Well, Go you ahead. see, the camera is it can move. I mean, you putting it out like that, like Jamaicans wine different. Let me see the difference. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, you want to do? He wants to judge for himself, Missy. That's what I'm saying. Oh my uh, goodness. We'll 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 have another conversation. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Yeah, man. But you know what's so interesting is that we have the conversation here that it's easy for someone in Grenada to do soca and have it sound authentic versus doing dancehall and have it sound authentic. Do you think the reverse is true for, say, a Jamaican singing soca? I think so, in a sense, because of, well, I think we just... of the accent, which is have a similar sounding accent. And mm-hmm. Jamaicans just don't... Once you're a Jamaican, you know a Jamaican. It's yeah. just like if, if, if a Haitian person tried to sing soca as well, you will hear the difference. Mm-hmm. As opposed to the rest of the Caribbean. But yeah, you mean once you, you you study your craft and you study the genre and mm-hmm. you study the terms and say t- 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 and you know certain things. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess working with the right producers as well because you I mean, know that, that's, that's what production the... is. That's what production is. A, a producer know what it takes to make that that song work. So if I'm I, I'm recording somebody from Trinidad and and them must say what go on you have, to, you have to stop them and say no say. Wagwan, you know, oh. straight up wah, so wagwan, you know what I mean? That it, it's all about te- it's, it's like teaching teaching somebody a language. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's true because we have different vernacular. Like we say, you may say wagwan, and we might say what going on. Exactly, two different things. You know, music, music is a language. You know, music it is. is a language. It's a language. It's a universal language that everybody knows. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, for those. Work accordingly. 
So, awesome. So what's next for Red Rat right now? Um, uh, sky, is is sky is the limit. Um, I've never pigeonholed myself into not not one thing. You know, mm -hmm. I'm a writer. We, we, we have a production company in, in Florida here called Mogul Movement. So we write and produce for all different genres of music. Mm -hmm. um, um, my team and I, um, Pascali, we, we write together and produce together. She's also the first artist signed to the label. She is co-founder of the label. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just finished her project um, that's set to release. Um, and we finished my project as well. Um, you know, we sent you a couple records. I don't know if you get them yet. Yeah, I have them. I have them. Yeah, man. Big up CC. Yeah. Uh, she she been yeah. working very hard for you guys. Big up CC, yeah. big time. Big up yeah, CC. So the, the, the record that you have called Higher, mm -hmm. um, we just put, um, put that out um, last year. And we just received a plaque for 22 million streams on Spotify. Nice. Wow. Congrats. So, wow. Yeah. You know, we're just we're just going to continue that that momentum and keep putting out hits after hits. And in mm -hmm. this time when people not really have no forgot, I mean, they want something. I think that they, they, they in need of the music, to, you know, in them yard and you know have something to play. Because what happens is everybody have Netflix, and you would never believe that you would have watched everything on Netflix. I don't watch everything on Netflix already. You're, you're on Netflix part two. <laughs> exactly. So just like the movies, that you're going to listen to the same songs over and over. You're going to need content. So we have a, we have a whole heap of content for the people. Now, being in the in the music industry for, for such a the time you've been in, what advice would you have for anybody that is like now coming into the music industry? Because I find like these days, you find some artists they don't understand the business side of it before they get into into it. What 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 exactly advice do you offer? Exactly my point um, is when you're coming into the music um, <laughs> industry, you you have to know that it's called music business and not music hype. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the business of music because a lot of artists. Um, get the break and it, it um make a lot of money or uh, don't understand the business and end up broke you know what i mean so the advice is just understand yeah you, you, you have your crap already you know of dj you to make something mm -hmm. thing but understand the business of it. yeah that's very important Amazing, right. amazing. Red Rat, thank you so much for spending part of your morning with us today. Thank you very much, man. No, I can't go to bed. <laughs> no, I, I don't I don't normally sleep early you now, so I, I finished because yeah. I was doing some production work till about six, six thirty and I said, I would have go sleep for half an hour, so I'm gonna say no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go wake up. But give thanks, thank you for having me. It was wonderful. Yeah. All right. Um, go and blaze up the new song them. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. All right. Make sure you send it the new the rest of the new song them and add it to the station and Ray and say, Yeah. Covered. Right. Awesome. Covered. Awesome. Thank, Thank, you Thank you so Let's much. Check. Y'all, Red Rat was in the building all the way from Florida. Of course, you know he has so many dance hall hits. A dance hall legend right here Rattle on the morning Rattle Rattle <laughs> <Rattle Rattle. Rattle. laughs> Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Have a great day, Red Rat. Respect. All right. <laughs> right. Y'all, the morning trend came to you. Compliments Rick's Cafe. Walk in. Dance out. The hit list is up next. Our superheroes are all among us. They don't.